Virgo and welcome to your May reading. I hope that you are doing well. Okay, the first card that we have for you is the Six of Swords in reverse. Also the Seven of Wands in reverse. Hmm, okay, so what I'm getting here is like you're recognizing an area actually that you've kind of been stifled in in some way. It's like you, um, it's like you're recognizing an area that you have wanted to kind of grow in some way or to move on from and it's like you're realizing you haven't taken either any action or the proper action in order to um, do this thing or to move on from this thing so it seems like uh, this month you're yeah just recognizing a very important um, place where you can take action in your life or developing kind of a better plan for it um, and for some of you this has to do with being kind of closed off for having like a lack mentality it's very interesting um it's like it seems like there's something internally you were kind of like holding on to a certain mentality that you had or something and it's almost what i'm getting with this page of cups as well it's like you um allow yourself to feel maybe i'm getting some of you haven't blocked emotionally in some way so you haven't been allowing yourself to feel um like sadness or something like this that's been underneath the surface and with this page of cups and this four pentacles reverse like almost like you allow yourself just to have like a little bit of time to feel i'm getting it's mainly like sadness it could be love as well some emotion that you've been kind of like suppressing or ignoring or something like this and this really helps you to feel um it actually ends up being like a huge emotional release in some way like you feel a lot lighter after this and it's like maybe you're kind of scared of feeling the sadness or this emotion because you didn't want it to be heavy you had to keep moving in life whatever um but once you feel it you actually feel a lot better you actually feel more like relieved in life um so yes there's some emotion that comes to the surface for you this month okay um we also have the ace of swords and the world card so, um, I'm getting a few messages here, but you could get some kind of truth about, it's strange, okay, so the first message I'm getting is like you get a truth about a certain place, like when you're traveling, so you travel somewhere and you have a lot more clarity about what this place actually is, if you're traveling this month, it's like your perception, your idea of what this place is going to be is different than what it is, um, and I'm getting it's kind of neutral, it's not like, oh, this place is not like cool it's not fun or like it's amazing it's kind of just like your perception idea of a certain place um and the actual reality of that place um you might really enjoy the reality of it more but it's just uh you kind of recognize like how you're like fantasizing about something and then yeah just being present is a little bit different um for others of you i'm getting that when you are like mingling this month perhaps like with new people you get this kind of truth about yourself. So um, this, I'm getting this as like someone new that you meet, someone that you're mingling with, just having a like conversation with, but it helps you to recognize a certain truth about yourself. Um, it could also be that they tell you something that really like illuminates something that happened to you in the past about people in general, um, interestingly. So yes. Having like small talk with like new people this month is very important for you to um, get some kind of clarity and it could also be traveling. Okay, we also have a change in the wind. So, I'm getting some Virgos. The first message I'm getting with this is like you're either really wanting a change, but some Virgos, okay, I have a few. Some Virgos are like afraid to make a change. It could be this thing that I was saying at the beginning of this reading. You want to move on from something. You want to change something. You want to do something. But what could be holding you back is like this with this to be fair card. You could be afraid of disturbing the balance of some area of your life or disturbing a relationship or something. So it's like you're, you're not sure how it's going to put things out of balance if you try to make some kind of drastic change. And it's like maybe you're wanting more stability or something like this um for others of you so it's very like split here but for others of you it's that um your life has not had 
I know stability is kind of related, but it's like you feel like there's been too much change going on and you don't have the stability that you need, the balance that you need. So for those of you that feel this way, it's like you feel like they're just one thing after the other and you're always having like trying to keep up. Um, it seems like this month you're actually going to get a lot of like balance so that you feel more stable. Um, and so I feel like like things are changing so much all the time for you. Okay. We also have, I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. This is the angel of Serena. So for any of you that are, like, needing money for something, you're concerned about how you'll come up with the money for it, something, um, or you're desiring abundance in general, or if you feel like you're already abundant, there's more abundance coming in for you. Um, you're going to receive the money that you need, and... Um, Yes, it's just saying have faith a little bit, and of course you need to make plans and things like this regarding your money, but um, kind of just be at peace for a minute to know that you will have this money and it will happen. Um, it's about make, instead of like overly obsessing about it if you can. Okay, we also have patience. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. So, um... This could be a part about patience in general, like being patient with yourself. Um, with any, like, these changes, for those of you that are more resonant, like, you're really wanting to make a change, but you're not sure how this will happen, um, just be patient with this, because this will come to fruition. Um, but for those of you that are being a student right now, you're learning something. Um, I mean, your message here is, like, enjoy this at the time like this is saying but also that you're really going to achieve a lot of success based off of the things that you are studying so um just kind of enjoy it if you're concerned about like a job afterwards or something like this whatever it is um if you're wanting a job prospect from something that you're learning about um just be patient in this learning process because um the more you gather the more you focus on learning being a student right now the more success you will see um, in the future with this endeavor. Okay, we also have trust in reverse and recovery. So, I'm going to have a few messages with this, actually. Um, some of you, like, how I was saying in the beginning of this reading, you might be feeling kind of closed off or something like this. I'm getting some Virgos might be dealing with, like, having some trust issues here. Um, for those of you that this resonates with you, if you feel like you've just been, like, struggling to maybe, like, feel your emotions in relationship or, like, be emotionally vulnerable with this page of cups here, um, you are kind of recovering from something that happened in the past, so just kind of be patient with this process, but you will, um, you will be able to overcome these trust issues if this is something that you're dealing with. It could also be for some of you, um... Someone is going to gain your trust this month, actually, and this could be that if you are dealing with trust issues, this could be something that really helps to move you through that, is like someone does something and they really have your best interest and they um, are like wanting the best for you. So once you experience that, it helps you to be like, okay, not, you know, I can trust some people and not everyone is out to get me or anything like this. Okay, we also have compassion. So, um... It seems like this month for you, Virgo, there's like a really big opening of your heart here, of your emotions, um, and it could be just compassion towards yourself, compassion, um, it could be your compassion that you received from another person, but I'm really just getting like this, there was this thing beneath the surface, this emotion you're suppressing, like I was saying, um, and compassion with yourself really helps to get you through this. Um, you really will, you will end up feeling a lot more emotionally light, it seems like, at the end of this month. Okay, so thank you, Virgo. That's all I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you like a personal reading, please email me. The email for that is in the description of this video. Thank you.